Hi guys, let me introduce to you the Brother BTATS E300 label printer. Now, a label printer is a device that we use to uh, print out labels that we stick to various objects, containers, in order to identify them. I uh, bought this one way back in 2019, and I used this alternately with my other labelers that I previously reviewed. The bigger Brother PTATS D600 and the smaller Epson LW uh, K400. Now how does a label printer works? We use the keypad here to type in the label that we want to print and we use the various functional buttons here in order to set the parameters of that label. For example, the kind of font we want, the spacing, the margins, so on and so forth. And this one is the power button. Let's try printing a sample label now. After the label is printed on the tape, we remove the backing of the label so that we can stick the adhesive portion to any surface that we want to stick it. Just for example, I'm going to stick the label here. So the main advantage of a label printed by a label printer is that it is neat and it looks uh, professional. So how does this uh, label printer print out the labels? Let's look at what's inside it by removing its back cover. The uh, Brother E300 label printer is powered by in this instance, I installed six AA uh, rechargeable batteries, but it can also be powered by its included lithium battery or directly from an outlet. This is also, this power adapter is included also in its uh, retail box. We have here the tape cartridge, and you can buy this. Uh, separately and in fact I have uh, several uh, spare cartridges just for this purpose. This particular uh, label cartridge has a size of 12 mm and if you look closely there is a ribbon here. The label printer itself does not provide any kind of ink it only has a printhead which uh, acts on this ribbon here where the label is printed. Now you can have different sizes of uh, uh, label cartridge. So this one is 12 mm. Another here I have also 12 mm but yellow. I have uh, 9 mm also yellow. I even have black. And this is the appearance of a third party tape cassette or label cartridge still in its uh, packaging. Now let's try uh, to print one electrical uh, label here, the cable flag. This one. Now you will notice that once I push the print button, the labeler will eject a small portion of the tape which has no printing whatsoever before it finally ejects the label that we want uh, printed, this one here. Uh, we use the uh, manual 
scissors here to cut the uh, the preliminary uh, portion of the tape, which is not uh, being used as a label. Then finally, we used also the uh, manual scissors to finally cut the uh, label from the machine. So here I have a, uh, a cable flag. Again, removing the backing portion to expose the adhesive. And I can use this uh, cable flag now to label my electric fans power cord. So that's one purpose of the cable flag. As you can see, uh, this one here is just my electric fan, but you can use this to label many different kinds of cables in a, uh, a panel board, for example. One of the biggest uh, complaints about uh, brother label printers is that every time you print a label, it first ejects a small unused portion, like this one, before it prints the label that you wanted. In this case, I printed a small uh, barcode. What exactly is the reason why the printer ejects this small portion of a new tape? Now, this is just my theory. But I think that it was necessary for the design of the label printer to eject that unused portion although it might be considered as a wastage because of the way the ribbon is built into the cartridge as well as the print head. As you can see here, the uh, label has at least four layers. The backing portion that protects the adhesive surface, the colored portion of the tape. As you can see there, the black ribbon and a transparent uh, film there. What happens, I believe, is that the printhead will impress the characters of the label on the uh, black portion or the ribbon and impress that on the uh, transparent film. And as the tape rolls out of the tape cartridge, the transparent tape or the transparent film with the label now printed on it will stick to the colored portion. And I think that in order for that to uh, uh, be successful, it needs to prime the, uh, the label by ejecting that small unused portion. So I think the disadvantage of that is you have a small wastage, but the resulting label, I believe, is laminated. Now, I'm not really actually sure if it's laminated, because I think the manufacturer alone can uh, truly confirm this. But if you can see here, the resulting label is so strong, so sharp and so clear that no matter how you rub it, you cannot make it smudge. It's as if it is covered by a thin layer of film. Sort of laminated, but again, I'm not sure about it. I'm just basing this on my observation of the uh, the way the ribbon is designed there, as well as the strength of the printing of the label. It resists smudges. So no matter how you rub it, it still remains very clear. So there you have it, guys. The uh, brother Label Printer PTATS E300. I'd appreciate your comments or suggestions. Please write them down below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.